Hi everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to my channel and another crochet tutorial. For today's tutorial, we're working on the Lily Lotus Square. This pattern may look complicated, but it's not. There is definitely a lot of layers, but it's a lot simpler than you think. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to start by making a magic ring. You're going to chain two, and that chain two doesn't count as a stitch. Inside the ring, you're going to make two double crochets. Chain one, make two double crochets inside the ring. Chain one, and repeat two double crochets inside the ring. Chain one, and repeat. Chain one. And you're gonna repeat that sequence of stitches four more times and I will meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're gonna make a chain one and you're gonna join to the first double crochet stitch with a slip stitch. You're gonna cut your yarn here and you're gonna get ready to switch colors for the next round. At the end of round one, you should have 16 double crochets and eight chain one spaces. For round two, we're gonna be walking in between the chain one spaces and we're gonna be making popcorn stitches. And I'm gonna be joining with a standing double crochet. To make a standing double crochet, you put a slip knot on your hook and I hold this tail end up against the fabric like that so that it doesn't move around too much. I wrap my hook and I go into that chain one space. I pull up a loop and there's three loops on that hook. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through two and wrap your hook and pull through two. Into that space you're going to make three more double crochets. To make your pop to complete your popcorn stitch, you're gonna remove the hook from the loop and go into the first double crochet that you made, or if you made a chain three, you're gonna put that loop back onto your hook and pull it through. You're gonna start your repeat by chaining three, one, two, three, and you're gonna find the next chain one space and you're gonna make four double crochets. To complete the popcorn stitch, remove the hook from the loop and go into the first double crochet stitch. Place that loop back onto the hook and pull it through. You now have two complete popcorn stitches and you're going to repeat chain three. Into the next chain one space, you're going to make four double crochets. Remove that hook, go into the first double crochet, put that loop back onto the hook and pull it through. And you're going to repeat that sequence five more times for a total of eight and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round you're going to make a chain three. And you're going to join in the top of the first popcorn stitch with a slip stitch. And you're going to chain one and you're going to fasten up here to switch colors for the next round. At the end of round two, you should have eight popcorn stitches. For round three, we're going to be working into the chain three spaces. 
You're going to start by making a slip stitch. Chain one. Into that same space, you're going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets in that same space. A half double crochet and a single crochet. Into the next chain three space, you're gonna start with a single crochet, a half double crochet, Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same space, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And you're going to repeat into the next chain three space, a single crochet. A half double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, and into the same space you're going to make two double crochets, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round you're going to remove your hook from the loop and you're going to insert your hook from the back into the chain one space that you created in the beginning of the round. And you're going to turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you. You're going to put that loop back onto the hook and you're going to pull that through. And you're going to make a chain one. Turn your work around so that the wrong side is facing you. You're going to insert your hook on the these two loops here. And you're going to make a single crochet. Chain five. And you're going to go over to the next section and you're going to insert your hook under those two loops. And what these two loops are, are these are the back of the single crochet stitch that you made in the previous round. So you're going to insert your hook under those two loops and you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to chain five and repeat. Insert your hook under those two loops and make a single crochet. And repeat. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you there. At the end of the round you're going to make your final chain five. And you're going to make a slip stitch into the chain one space that you created in the beginning. And you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. You're going to switch colors for the next round. And that way you should have created eight chain five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for the next round you're going to be working with the right side facing you. For round five, we're gonna be joining in any of the chain five spaces. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch. Chain one. And into that same space, you're gonna make a single crochet, a half double crochet, 
two double crochets one treble crochet and for treble crochet you're gonna wrap your hook twice and you're gonna pull two loops off at a time chain two into the same space you're gonna make a treble crochet two half double two double crochets a half double crochet and a single crochet You know, going to be working around the popcorn stitch right here, and you're going to make a front post double crochet. You're going to wrap your hook, and you're going to go from the front to the back and around the popcorn stitch. You're going to pull up a loop, and you're going to pull two loops off, and then two for your double crochet stitch. And you're going to continue working into the Chain five space with a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochets, a treble crochet, wrapping your hook twice, chain two, a treble crochet. Two double crochets, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And you're going to make a front post double crochet around the next popcorn stitch. Wrap your hook, go from the front to the back, and around the popcorn stitch. Pull up a loop. And you're going to pull those two loops off like that. Okay, and you're just going to repeat single crochet into the chain five, a half double crochet, two double crochets, one treble crochet. Chain two, a treble crochet, two double crochets, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. Front post double crochet around the next popcorn stitch. You're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to make a front post double crochet around the last popcorn stitch. And you're going to remove your hook from the loop and you're going to insert your hook from the back to the front into that chain one space that you created in the beginning and you're going to turn so that the wrong side is facing you and you're going to put that loop back onto your hook and then you're going to pull it through and you're going to chain one and that is the end of round five for round six you're going to turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you and you're going to be working around the single crochet stitches that you created in the previous round and you're going to make a front post a, fr a front post single crochet around the stitch you're going to chain six five and six and you're going to make a front post single crochet around the next 
Să nu pășesc deci. And you're gonna repeat by chaining six. And a front post single crochet around the next single crochet stitch. And repeat, chain six. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to make your final chain six. And you're going to make a slip stitch into the chain one space that you created. You're going to chain one and you're going to cut your yarn and switch colors for the next round. And you should have eight of those chain six spaces. For your next round, you're going to make sure that the, the right side is facing you to begin. For round seven, we're going to be working into the chain six spaces and we're going to be joining with a slip stitch. You just grab any one of those chain six spaces and make a slip stitch here and you're going to make a chain one and into that space you're going to make a single crochet a half double crochet two double crochets Two treble crochets, chain two into the same space, you're going to make two treble crochets. Two double crochets, a half double crochet, and one single crochet. You're going to make a front post double crochet around the front post stitch. And you're going to continue working into the next chain six space. You're going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochets, two treble crochets. Chain two, two treble crochets into the same space, two double crochets, a half double crochet. and a single crochet. Make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. And you're just gonna repeat by working into the next chain six space and make a single crochet. A half double crochet two double crochets. Two treble crochets. Chain 
chain two into the same space two treble crochets two double crochets one half double crochet and a single crochet and you make a front post double crochet around the front post stitch and you're going to repeat that sequence of stitches all the way around and I will meet you at the end At the end of the round, you're going to make your last front post stitch around the post stitch. And you're going to remove that hook from the loop and you're going to insert your hook into the chain one space. You're going to turn so that the wrong side is facing you. And you're going to place that loop back onto your hook. And you're going to pull that through and chain one. For round eight, you're going to turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you. And you're going to repeat um, somewhat what you did in round six. And you're going to make a single crochet around the single crochet right here. A front post single crochet. Chain six. four, five, six, and you're going to make another front post single crochet around the next single crochet stitch. Chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and make another front post single crochet stitch. Chain six, And make another front post single crochet around the single crochet stitch. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end. At the end of the round you're going to make your final chain six, five and six and you're going to make a slip stitch into the chain one space. And you're going to chain one and you're going to cut your yarn and get ready to switch colors for the next round. And you should have six, um, eight chain six spaces. For the next round, you're going to make sure that the right side of your work is facing you to begin. For round nine, we're going to be working into the chain six spaces. And I'm going to use a standing double crochet and you can use a slip stitch and a chain three if that works better for you. So what you're going to do, uh, you're just going to flip your work upside down like this. And I'm going to make my standing double crochet. And into that same chain six space, you're going to make six more double crochets. four, five, and six. Along with the standing double crochet stitch that I made in the beginning, or if you made a chain three, you now have seven double crochets. You're gonna make one double crochet into the single crochet stitch, and now we have eight double crochets. And you're gonna make seven double crochets into the next chain six space. Four, 
five, six, seven. So you now have a total of 15 double crochets in a row. And that is your stitch repeat. You're now gonna chain two, and that's gonna create your first corner for your square. And walking into the next chain six space, you're gonna make seven double crochets. So you're just gonna repeat the set of 15 double crochets that you just did. Five, six, and seven. And walking into the single crochet, you're gonna make a double crochet stitch. And into the next chain six space, you're gonna make seven double crochets. So now that's gonna give you 15 double crochets in a row, just like you did previously. There's four, five, six, seven. And now you're gonna make your second corner and you're gonna chain two. And you're gonna repeat, let's flip this around, and you're gonna repeat these sequence of stitches all the way around, and I will meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're gonna make a chain two, and you're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch. And that is the end of round nine. For round 10, you're gonna chain two. And you're gonna make one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches and that's gonna bring you to the chain two space. And you're gonna start by making your first double crochet into the same place where you made your slip stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, 15. Into the chain two space, you're gonna make your corner, it's gonna be two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets into the same space. Chain two, and two more double crochets. And you're gonna repeat by making one double crochet into the next 15 stitches, and that's gonna bring you to your next chain two space. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen. And into the chain two, you're gonna make your two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets all into the same space. And you're gonna continue with that sequence of stitches. You're gonna continue repeating the sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you have your final chain two space left and you're gonna make your last corner of two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all into the same space. And because this is my last round, I'm gonna cut my yarn here. I'm gonna work underneath the first double crochet stitch.
And that is the end of the tutorial. If you enjoy this pattern, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.